to know what it's saying to your hair. You just gotta make it look good. natural and whatnot by doing the bare minimum okay so what I did was you gotta watch the video <laughs> okay so later on after you watch the video um, we're gonna meet back up again and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit more about this wig and you're gonna see my little secret revealed so in this video I am wearing the wild African wig which is a 360 lace frontal pre-plucked wig so when i got this wig when i first opened the package i was like what it just looks so scanty but with curly hair you have to just want to do the work okay so it's kind of like a regular twist out so imagine it's being your twist out and you just have to go in and untwist the twist after you wash it so i went ahead and bleached the knots i didn't have to but i decided that i i wanted to so i bleached the knots on this this is how it looks it looks a little bit frizzy because you guys know I'm not, I don't really wear my natural hair, so I forgot the whole do not put your fingers through it method. <laughs> and I kind of just was combing my fingers through it. So that's why it's a tad bit frizzy. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut the lace off by this lining right here. And then after that, this is how it looks when it's cut off after. Then I'm going to go in and I actually got a little bit of bleach on the roots of the wig. So I'm probably going to do a video to show you guys how to perfect that and how to fix that issue. Because I was so annoyed that that happened. I mean, mistakes happen all the time. So it's an easy fix that I can easily do. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the lace. Um, I did add a headband in this because I did send a headband with it. Um, it wasn't adjustable, but it was doable. Sometimes um, I use the hair from the lace wig to create my baby hairs, but in this video, I decided to go ahead and use my own natural hair to create the baby hairs because it, it really does help it to look 10 times more natural. This trick works the best I've seen when I have curly hair, okay? When I have straight hair, it works, but it's okay. When I have curly hair, it's the bomb. Actually, I don't have baby hair. I actually just combed out some of my hair and just swooped it, swooped it with some gel. So um, for us non-baby hair having girls, we're just gonna have to use our hair and swoop it. I like this method because as you guys will hear me say throughout the video, you can put your hair in a high ponytail, half ponytail, whatever, even a low ponytail, and it looks really good. So for this part right here though, I did scoop out a tad bit of the wigs baby hair by an accident because i kind of didn't really have a title for the video at the time when i was creating the video it wasn't until i started doing that that i realized i wanted to continue doing the rest of the wig with my own baby hair so only that little part by like where my imaginary widow's peak would be that's where the um the baby hair from the wig is used other than that i used my real hair for the baby hair so what I'm doing now is, this is how the hair looks after, after it's been washed, conditioned, and plucked and tampered with, okay? This is how the hair looks. And I'm just going in and I'm just opening all the twists. Because with a real natural twist out, you would wake up in the morning and have twists that look like how it looked in the beginning. And you would have to go in and open them. So open them to the point where they're not frizzy. Don't really run your fingers through it, which I kind of made that mistake, but I actually do like this frizzy kind of thing going on in the front because it makes it look a little bit more real to me. If you don't want the frizz, don't comb your hands to do it. Right now, I did apply this the wig on my sister because I, I kind of like to do this thing where I put the wig on two people just so that you guys can see that the wig looks amazing on other people, not just us YouTubers. It looks good on other people as well. So I kind of put the wig on on her and i showed you guys how it looked on her i also left out a little bit more hair by the ear for her so that she could also pull it back into a ponytail if she wanted what i'm probably gonna do is just trim this little part this like area right here it's kind of like slanting down 
Then I just went in and trimmed the ends. Well, give it a little more shaping to my liking. You can see the wig. I put the, I put the wig on. So you can see right here, the wig is right here. This is all where the wig lining is. This is my hair, this is my hair, this is my hair. And the wig is somewhat right here, tucked a little bit behind my ear. And then it helps because, let's say I wanted to like, just throw my hair up. You really cannot tell that I have a wig on. So in this video, I am wearing Wow African. I chose it from the website. When I seen the picture, I was like, okay, there's no way <laughs> I'm going to get the wig to look the way I want it to look based on the picture because it just looked like noodles, you know? With wigs, with curly wigs, you have to understand that you have to customize wigs to your liking. But this wig, I believe, came to a total of 200 I don't want to say the wrong thing, so I'm going to say it was in the 200s because I had 180 density and then I had 18 inches. So actually the density does not affect the price, I believe, but the inches affect it. So I had 18 inches, which added on an extra $90. So if we got the shortest length, I believe it's 203 with nothing done to it. But I decided to go and get 18 inches. So it was 293 I did not buy the wig. It was sent to me in case you guys are wondering. But, um... I'm just saying, if I got nothing done to it, it'll be two or three. Good, it feels really full. It came with baby hair all around, but if you're watching the video, you see I didn't even use, um, I barely even used the baby hair. I guess the point of Wow African wigs is for, I guess, non, or people that don't want to do too much work to really get the wig, take it out the box, and put it on their head immediately. To, oh my god. Now you guys know if you want quality and a great wig, you're going to have to spend a little dollar, okay? And that's just what it is. <laughs> like, I always say like this, you want quality, right? Or you want a good looking wig, and it's an investment, okay? You are an investment. So it's so important for you to invest in your hair. So there's all of this stuff that you can do with it, where it just looks so good, but like that. I think this is so freaking cute. So cute. The point is, no one has to know where to say your hair. You just gotta make it look good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any questions about the unit that I have on, about the wig, about, you know, the baby hearing, baby hearing, <laughs> the baby hair thing that I did, then you guys can let me know down below. Um, follow me on Snapchat. Are you following me on Snapchat? Are you following me on Snapchat? I think I did a good job. <laughs>